Hello folks and welcome to my dungeon. Um, if you're wondering why I'm not doing any imaging videos, it's because I can't. I haven't finished a deep sky object in over a month. The weather is terrible. It, uh, uh, snow, uh, freezing weather, now it's a full moon out there. Um, it, it's just terrible. I, I, I don't think I've seen a stretch like this in a long time. But anyway, I wanted to show you my new toy. Um, it's an Explorer Scientific AR-102 doublet refractor, and it's going to be my new scope for solar imaging. Uh, that's why I don't mind it being a doublet, although a doublet is just fine if you, if you want to use it for just narrowband imaging as well. It's, doublets tend to get a, a bad reputation, but they, they can be used for a lot of things. And the, last year I actually used an 80mm scope, and I, I had a lot of luck with that wide field scope. In fact, the second animation I ever captured uh, I, it was a whirlwind. The, the whirlwind formed as soon as I started imaging and it lasted for about two hours. It was such perfect timing. I didn't see anyone else that captured it and it became my first NASA APOD. I, how lucky was that? So I was really happy with that. But now I want to get in closer and get even more detail, which is why I've got this scope. And uh, the focal length on this one is 663 compared to my wide field scope of 480. And um, while I say this is a, a new scope, it's a new scope for my collection, but the scope itself is actually used. I bought it from my friend Doug, who really doesn't have time to do solar imaging anymore. He, it, 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 between solar imaging, deep sky, and working, it, it's just too much of a strain on him, and I, I don't blame him. Um, for me, um, I don't work anymore. I, I, um, I started an internet advertising business about 15 years ago. You know, I got in early, I made my money, I got out, and I'm one of the lucky ones I was able to retire early. So now I have lots of time to play around with this stuff, which is cool. But that doesn't mean I don't like finding deals, and that's why I, I, I bought this setup from Doug. But anyway, I wanted to tell you um, a big difference between this and my wide field ADMM scope is that once you're over that 80 mm mark, you better have protection or else you will have a meltdown pointing at the sun with this thing. And it even happened to Doug. He had his UV IR protection filter after the diagonal. So his diagonal actually started smoking. And I thought that was hilarious when he told me about it. And so if, if, you, if you, I'm not using a diagonal, but if you do intend to use one, make sure you've got your UV IR filter before that. And um, Doug actually gave me one that came with, that uh, he was using. He gave me this with the setup. It's an astronomic L1 UV IR filter. And I actually tried this with my ADMM scope last year. And holy moly, I wish I had been using it the whole time. Even though you don't need it, a UV IR filter definitely adds contrast to the surface. You see the proms better. So uh, I would definitely recommend using one, even if you don't think you need it. And the way it would attach in my setup is uh, um, right on the front of the quark. This is the quark. I, I've got my 183 um, attached to it as well. But um, the quark is threaded in the front. And you would just um, thread on this 1.25 inch filter right in front, right there. So perfect fit. And then. Um, Put the whole quark right in there. I don't want this to tip over. And, and uh, I'm going to be good to go. And one more thing about this setup. Is it does come with a finder scope. Doug seems to have kept that too. But he told me about it later. I told him, no, I don't need it. That's okay. But, but you might notice um, I've got it sitting on this box elevated because there's... Um, uh, a, a focuser right here, an electronic focuser. I called Ron at Moonlight, and he doesn't make a focuser for the AR-102, which kind of surprised me. Like, ah, oh, man. But I did test this Rigel focuser. It seems to work. I saw the gears moving, but I still need to get used to the software before I really take this out to the for the first time. I, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing, so I've, I've got to learn that a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see if this gets the job done. Um, 
I just wanted to show you my new toy. Uh, that's all I've got, folks. Thanks, and I'll, I'll see you later. I'm not, I'm done complaining. Fuck, I, this winter sucks. I, I, why was I doing this? This telescope, nope. Just wanted to show you my new telescope. <clears throat> the Explorer Scientific. Uh,